or are misremembering one or the other. We seem to recall that they used to be en route, like E-N, yeah. en route. You are en route to somewhere, yeah. as opposed to on, O-N, route. So, in, like, I just thought it was, the E-N was just capital 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 capital. 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 Uh-huh. 
because usually when it's really windy, you at least see the leaves fluttering or branches bending. That's what I meant. I don't see evidence of the kind of wind I feel like we're driving through evidence in the trees alongside the road. <laughs> I no appreciate, I appreciate that it came out who, who has seen the wind? <laughs> they wrote a whole book about it. I'm just, uh, I'm going to concentrate on driving now. Oh, okay. I feel like there's no getting out of this one. No. Uh, <clears throat> any more dignity than I have right at this moment. None. So. border apparently and Emily says it's gotten really windy it is it got really windy down there windier than I love but that's okay hey Port Elgin that's odd huh who knew Port Elgin and PEI yeah. I have no idea see now we have to go to PEI sometime <laughs> Three kilometers is what they tell me. Okay. GPS is saying. And so there's that route for the coastal drive, the Acadian coastal drive, that little star fishing one. Is that? It's a coastal drive that we're not doing. No, no. That, okay, that's the wrong side though, right? That's yeah. like that's like down, that's like down this way as opposed to down this way. No, it would actually be going all the way over to the coast, like the where the ocean is. Oh, okay. And that's where the I see. Hey, there's a welcome center in two kilometers. Sweet. Do we want to stop there? Sure. If it's open. Wind gusts. Sweet. This place where there's a wind farm. Yep, it does. 1.4 kilometers. Wind farms. Or farm. Guess, yeah, we can go up and see if there's a map. Yes. No, that's a good idea. Because on our way back later, yep, one kilometer. Oh, probably way up on the hill with the, yeah, the flags. with the flags and all. Flags. Sweet. So we came out of the uh, really helpful information center and got more stickers for the Jeep. That one and that one. And so nowhere to put it, this one. And we're gonna put it somewhere. Um, how about, yeah, you can put it up. Well, try not to bend them over. A little, I'll have to bend What about over there, like under the, the metal cloak under the metal cloak yeah right there yeah it fits there okay there we go so add it to all of the adventure stickers all over sorry that's way too close so yeah and now we're on our way one more stop to get gas and we are what an hour and a half away from yeah emily's parents house and uh we'll see you there is busy looking for a whale or a whale
waiting for a whale or a dolphin or a mackerel or tuna yeah are all out there somewhere seals we are at point george and that is cape breton over there and emily's sitting patiently and waiting wave hi <laughs> so we're at a lookout stop Sorry about the wind, everybody. So Emily's dad and mom were saying that that hill right there that looks like it has a big chunk out of it used to be a full hill, if you can imagine. It used to go all the way up over there. And there used to be a trail up and over it that you could take. But during Hurricane Fiona, it got eaten away. The wind and the waves all the way out the water was so high and so violent that it wore that away down to the rock and it looks like it got a huge chunk out of it. Mother nature, right? So I've climbed up to the top of that rock and you can see the big bite out of the hill close up. Sorry for the wind. But that is the St. Lawrence. And that across there is Prince Edward Island. We just drove by the ferry, which is over that way. Pretty impressive. Not a mountain, but impressive nonetheless. Well, that's about it for this episode. We spent the rest of the day. It was a cold, dreary day compared to others, but it was really nice um, to tour around kind of thing. We stopped for some ice cream. We saw the open pit coal mines near Stellarton, which they're famous for. And uh, that's about it. We spent the next couple days with Emily's folks uh, doing family stuff. And uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we'll pick up again on our way from Emily's folks to St. John, New Brunswick, where we stop at Hopewell Rocks and uh, a whole bunch of other cool places. And we'll see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe.